we talked about the importance of the customer support. So, the first thing, the first step for a good customer support, for an amazing customer support, is coming from you. What you need to do is to send to your customer three easy messages that can be automated. So let's see how, how to do that and what is these messages. So the first message that you want to send to your customer is a message that says, Hey, I got your order. Thank you for buying from us. You can check the status of your order on your eBay account. Let's see how to configure these messages. So the first one, as I said, it's just to notify the customer that, Hey, I got your order. The second message is a message about this that now he has a tracking number updated. So when we get a tracking number from our supplier, we will take this uh, tracking number and put on eBay. After we put it on eBay, we want to send a message to our customer and say, Hey, this is your tracking number. We'll also get the, auto, the message, the ready me message for this, and uh, you will be able to edit here. Now, all these messages will be sent automatically when you use the automated orders. If you don't use them, so when you change the statuses to ordered, shipped, and completed, it will be uh, sent automatically. And the last message, and this message is the magic message. This message will help you to get 60% in average more feedbacks. What you need to, need to do is to write here, hey, your order arrived, and please leave us posit positive feedback. Here is the link. So these messages will increase your feedback percent by around 60% in average and it will give your customer much better feeling and also save your customer support because he will get all of his answers using these messages. I hope that everything is clear. See you in the next lessons. Bye bye. In the previous lessons we talked about the importance of the customer support and what are the returns, cases and cancellations. In this video, I want to talk with you about the dispute system of AliExpress. So how actually all this process works? How can we get back the money for damaged products or not as described products or even return the product if you want? Now remember, as I said in the previous lessons, usually we, you will not need to return the product to AliExpress because if it's damaged or not as described, in most of the cases, the seller will just give you your money back. Uh, especially when we work with cheap products, as I recommend you, recommended you on the course, which are products between up to 30 or $40. Also remember, even if uh, the client needs to send the product back, in most of the cases they will just keep it and decide to close the case because nobody really wants to send to China. The shipping cost can be even half of the product price if you work with cheap products. So just to remind you, for damaged or not as described products, you will just get the money really quick from AliExpress and I will explain now how. And uh, for other cases, the buyer will need to pay for the shipping because that's what we put on our policy. So if I go on our AliExpress to my orders, I will have there all of my orders. And there I can actually track my uh, return request and refund request and all of the dispute process. So let's first see how we can open a return request and open a dispute on AliExpress. We have this product, I click open dispute. Here I choose the product and again open dispute. And here I have two options, refund only or return goods. Now if the product is damaged or not as described, just click refund only. Remember, before we do that, we ask from our client on eBay for a proof about the product, about this that it's damaged or not as described. Because after that, we can add here the, the uh, pictures and the video if we have. So here you, you choose if you received or not received the product. If you didn't receive it, just choose no. If you received it, so choose yes. Then you can choose here what happened. So if it's damaged goods, just write here the right amount that you want to get refund here write i got i got a damage product you write here the message that you want what describe the issue then here you uh, provide the pictures and that's all after that um, you will have some time that you work with the seller 
and after some time Aliexpress will step in and usually they will decide uh, in your favor, close the case and give you your money back. It works the same for uh, returns. Same here, you choose the uh, reason and usually the seller will, gi will give you a shipping address to where you need to ship the product. But this is only if you just don't want the product or your buyer don't want the product. In cases of damage and defect or uh, not as described, for sure you will just get the money back. Now all this process can take up to two weeks. I will show you how you can track that. And sometimes it's even more, it depends on AliExpress. But as I said, in 99% of the cases, it, they will close it in your favor. So how to track the process? When I go to my account on AliExpress, I have here some disputes in process. So I just click dispute in progress. And I can check here the status of what's going on. You can see here um, and the reminder, the AliExpress judgment. And then after some time, we will see that we won or didn't win the uh, process. For example, here we can see a logistics issue and AliExpress proposed a solution. And then I just work from here with AliExpress and with the seller. Let's take a dispute that finished. I click on dispute finished and then here I can see the whole process Aliexpress processing the uh, Prospor sell and then here Aliexpress judgment refund of the amount of the product so here we want the case as in most of the cases in the next video I will show you how to give an American customer service even when we get from AliExpress a service of two weeks, even when it takes for AliExpress to two, we up to two weeks to actually solve the issue, still we can give a great service to our customers and in the next video, in the next lesson, I will show you exactly how to do that. See you there. As I promised you in this course, we will save you time, same with any other thing on AutoDS. So we prepared something super cool for you. We worked a lot about this file with our copywriter. So let's see what is this file. Actually, we created a file with over 40 different uh, messages, pre-made messages that are ready for you to send to your customers in many different cases when you drop ship from AliExpress to eBay. So in this file, we have all of the messages that you will need for any case, actually. If you find anything that you don't have in this file, just share it with me and I will add it to the file uh, without any problem. So you have this, the link to this file below the video. Just take this sheets file, make a copy, and then you can use it for yourself, edit and do anything that you want. So how to use this file? This file actually has here some tabs of pre-sale, post-sale, returns, feedbacks, and general. All those are different types of messages that we prepared for you. Pre-sale, it's things that happens before you make the sale. Post-sale is after the sale. Returns are things for returns. Feedbacks, things that are related to feedbacks, like please uh, revise your feedback if someone gave you a negative feedback, and general, which are all other type of messages. Here at the left for the A column, we have the message description, which explains what is this message, why and when you should use this message. You have here also some notes about what to do in this case. So actually, we really prepared for you anything that you need to know here. So let's see how to work using this file. First of all, we have here um, the reason. So let's say that we have someone who uh, asking about an out of stock item. So what we do, we copy the title, and then on to this, we go to customer service. By the way, you can use it also directly on eBay if you want. Then here we go to any message of our customers. I will take one just for example, click view and reply or reply, scroll down. And here you have the uh, plus button. Click on the plus, write the title here. Buyer is asking about an out of stock. And here you have the template. So here you put the message template, just paste it. Click save. And then you will have it here. So buyer is asking about out of stock. I can just choose it, push and boom. 
the message is ready I can click reply and it will be sent to our customer so go around this different type of messages read all of them so you know after that when you can use and save for yourself time when you can use actually each of these different messages to save yourself time and just remember all of the different types it will save you tons of time also when you hire someone to work for you you will have this file ready and then you just give the file to them and they do everything for you i hope that everything is clear and I wish you good luck using these messages. Remember to give the best customer support to your customers. They worth it. eBay likes it and it will great, do great things for your business. See you in the next lesson.